And I do apologize. I'm still a bit, a little bit under the weather. You can tell by my voice, and my throat is still a bit fudged up. But my fever is broke. It's finally gone. I'm like at a high 98, or sometimes I'll go to 99. But yeah, it's way better than 103. World of Final Fantasy. Yeah, Tuesday was the roughest of the of the uh, days. Honorary region? A weird name for a region. But this is where we have to go next. Oh, that's right. Our area looks just like, uh... Look, Lon. This must be the Crystal Tower. Turn back. Huh? Terra! Hey, it's Terra! What's up? Magitek Armor! Who are you? I don't... <sighs> Turn back. You must not... go any further. What do you mean? <gasps> Holy! Are you a summoner? <laughs> Just run! Ran into a fight! Something's not right about her. I can sense something the human and Mirage at the same time. How and that Magitek armor. We've never seen anything like it. Whatever the case, she's not the plane around. Be the careful. This is it. That's cool, they're using uh, Terra's father summon in this. Chaz is not useful in this group. Don't achieve her.
That's nice. I think we can buy something more potent than high potions. Oh, that's not good. Of course. He's out.
Thank the heavens we healed. <laughs> I don't trust myself. What I need is a small character to be able to cast Cura. That would be nice. shot us did it no it did not good A challenging fight, but I also had an under level character in my group, so. Got all these mediums and larges, but no smalls. just passed out she's barely even hurt I guess she's pretty strong it seemed like she didn't the really want to do any of that hmm. as long as she's okay we better keep on moving before someone else can attack us sure obviously as a warning not to go in there How dutiful of them to come and tame the Esper in a stroke. 
lovely little flourish. All the same, they've merely doomed the last ox to the yoke. <laughs> It's really different inside, too. And I don't see any elevators. Huh, no way! We'll just have to <coughs> find out one to step at a time. Come on! I know we can to do it! Yeah, easy! Says the fox hitching a ride! I should probably save first. Let's go stock up on some stuff. Mart. Someone does have a cura seed. Thank you. over there. It'll be a while before we can get it, but we got the cure seed at least. So for Chaz... Oh, she don't even have that slot, okay. <coughs> so let's see here real quick. Probably we should probably buy a secondary seed. Yep, so we need this, this, then this. 
Diamond Dust is gonna have to hold off for a little bit. And for your fart. Okay. I wouldn't mind them both having Cura, so let's go buy that Cura seed. Welcome to the chunk. Suna would be nice to have too. Oh, and Ray's. Alright, that'll work. Okie dokie dokie. It just sucks with our with our, our stack setup. We want we both want to use our larges here. Got some good setups, so Crystal Tower, no reference to Final Fantasy 3 as far as I know. Let's hope it's not a pain in the ass like it was in Final Fantasy 3. Cause I remember in Final Fantasy 3. Hmm. Well, let's go down real quick and see what's down here real quick. Two big boys, huh? Who got Cura? Oh, we do? Oh, I guess it gets a combination. All right, cool. Must because of what we have, where we are currently stacked up. Water and electricity would mix.
missed, boo. If I'm not talking too much, it's because, hey, my throat is really sore and the chat's not going off at the moment. So unless this something requires my voice, I'm going to try to be easy on my voice today still. So you can tell it's still a bit flubber -nucked. But hey, I wouldn't I would not be opposed to any any chat chatness, that's for sure. Dark, okay. Wobble stopper, stop that wobbling. Down, one to go. She was always looking good. What are you talking about, cute dude? When does she never look good? I got this. Don't be sorry. Oh, they ain't gonna break Twitch TOS. I see nothing wrong with it. She's your Final Fantasy wife, right? Even though Shiva is technically a uh, a male Buddhist god, right? I think so. Yeah. drawn out fight that's for sure The Flam Princess was considered a small. As wide as these stairs are, you'd think you'd be able to get around to do it that easily. Fuck you. Okay, obviously, we can't go all the way down there. We'll need another one of those things. Obviously. Change in this battle music. 
How you doing today, cube dude? The first person who broke the chat. around link does not mess around you don't mess around must have been one of your older streams Two more days and the sore throat should be gone. My friend Toad Salsa contacted me the other day and goes, Man, you said you were sick on your stream, didn't you? So uh, you had it dormant in your system and I caught what you had. Sorry, bro. I was perfectly fine on Tuesday. Or Monday. Teleportation. Mm -hmm. Anything over here first? Other than an encounter? Surprise! One shot. It looks like a Minotaur kind of shaped critter. Ah, oh well, so much for Catherine. Yeah. Now we're gonna crit it to death. anyone with flutter because for some reason bacon doesn't have that as his evolved form
All right, well, let's head on back since we might need that, and we'll de evolve bacon for now. I should have suspected that being a dungeon with pets and shit in it. She doesn't get flutter? time. Now we can take the rest of you guys out real quick. likes to arm wrestle her brothers. You better if she holds her own and has a habit of char charging her own reflection. Maybe it's self-loathing or she just, just sees red. Sister Tor. <laughs> well, I guess we'll name this one Jazz. She pops in here a lot, so... I think I spelled that correctly. <laughs> Although I didn't know that was a female character until they until they uh, spec uh, set it in the description. See, the other Moogle should be able to do this. Potion. Okay, we gotta hope we get more of those. Those actually become for sale eventually. Right, let's do this. Here we go.
How are you doing today, Cube? Well, we're doing some jack box, man. Just name the time and date, man. I'm waiting on it. I'll be writing a mail, bro. I don't have the ability to smash stuff. <laughs> we'll have to come back later. Another dragged out fight. Yeah, I could burn ether, but I'm not gonna do that. This fight's not hard, it's just dragged out because if I don't have anything really weak against it. Weed the darkness. I mean, it doesn't hit like a truck, but it hits decent. Drought, they jing good to me.
been gargling salt all day, salt water to help with the sore throat. It's like helping a little bit of it. I wish we get our old battle music back though. This change in battle music kind of, it, uh, it's not, I don't have a good tempo to it in my opinion. More Tales of Eternia? All right. You want to ext extend it by two more hours? All right. It's your points and cookies. Thank you, Turkey, uh, for the redemption. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to make that a uh, a main game redeem, I would just save it up for the wheel or for the main game redemption. That way you get your full points worth out of it. But if someone can find me a game manual for that game, I would really appreciate it. That way I can, uh, I mean, I'll look it up eventually, but if someone can find one for me. There were some things I wasn't very sure what to do in that game. Well, all right, I can do, I can do more of that. I mean, you'll, it's the two hour minimum, so if you want a refund, I mean, I mean, that's if you want me to refund you before I play it again, I mean, I'm more gl glad to so you can save up your points to for the higher, excuse me, for the higher, uh, uh, for the higher, to give it, that way it's guaranteed to be played all the way through. Well, that's a strategy guide. I need a game manual. Oh, so Tales of Destiny 2 and 10... Oh, so Tales of Destiny 2 and Tales of Eternia are the same thing? The box art looks the same. Oh, I thought they were separate games. I might just see if I can get the Tales of Destiny uh, 2 game then instead for PS1 or PS2. I'll bookmark this just to be on the safe side. But yeah, if you want me to like before you, it gets to your redeem, because I got two other redeems I gotta do first. But yeah, I don't want to feel like you're wasting your points and like you only get two hours of the RP of a forty-hour RPG. So <laughs> I won't feel like you're wasting your points. But thank you for the redemption. So if you want it refunded, you just let me know. I don't, uh, I don't mark redeems complete until I've actually, uh, played, uh, fulfilled them. Come on. The only thing is if you pick the wheel, it's not guaranteed you're gonna, you know, be guaranteed on, on the, uh, redemption list. So Q Dube up there has a Lundgren, Surreal has, uh... Drill Dozer, I think it's called? <coughs> that was a good fight. Oh, Obviously, Turkey, you're a fan of, it, of, of, that, of that particular Tales game. I might just start over and see if, uh... Let's, say, let's see if we got a more stable copy for the, uh... PS2 version. The only bummer thing about the P the PS2, it's hard to save state with that one. Well, Alright. 
We'll swap out the Princess Goblin for Furnum since Furnum can bash that st bash that stuff down. So let's head on back down. Again. Because we lack the ability. Also, that's the first time. What? Honestly, that's the first time someone cashed in and redeemed to extend a, uh, a game to play. So that is the first. I won't get back to the Tales of Eternia or Tales of Destiny 2. <coughs> For a little bit, because I got two other Retro Redeems to play. So as soon as we get to it. I kept my save data and stuff, but I might just start over and see if the PS2 version is better. One thing I didn't like was that save system wasn't working right. This is it. My guess is because of the emulation. I appreciate the strategy guide. I mean, I don't like to use a guide necessarily, well, unless I have to. Not to mention chat interaction makes it even even a better experience. Take out Brody temporarily. Save the game. Gimme, gimme! Uh. Going back up. Let's make this good. Dude, it's on.
We hit level 50. I think the one thing I'll be interested in doing is intervention quests because those are pretty funny. They're, they're, they're mildly entertaining. Yep. Oh, high ethers. Those are nice. Going on up. Right. Let's do this. I feel like I feel like it's definitely catered to a younger audience because I feel like we're just getting the same enemy set constantly. Hold on. So, where's the sleep? Okay, nothing back here. And we already looted that chest, so I must have. Uh, yeah, okay. We've got the advantage. <laughs> you won't know what hit you. Yeah, Tom Berry. Like Final Fantasy in general took too long too long or just the side Final Fantasies uh, if you want to do a 100% run then yeah it would take a while or a clocking at 37 hours although I guess 
stream time, it would be technically 31 hours because I did do I did do some grinding off stream here and there. This is a more of a casual game versus uh, other Final Fantasies. I grinded a little bit so I could unlock certain things, such as getting Shiva and the Undead Princess. In general, uh. 30 60 hour endeavor for most of these RP uh, for most of these Final Fantasy games although the older the older Final Fantasies for me they took maybe 30 hours first time playthrough give or take I mean I like playing RPGs but I do but you are right I do kind of like space them out I don't play them as much as, as I do on stream because, you know, they do take uh, quite a, a few streams to beat. The last longest one I did was Persona 5 Strikers, and that wasn't even a, a pure JRPG. That was, uh, it was like a base Dynasty Warriors style game, but the story was so long, the game took 65 hours to finish. <laughs> Though I wouldn't play this one unless you've played other Final Fantasies, because this one does a lot of uh, references to all the other Final Fantasy games. So if you, I feel one could not appreciate this game in particular, because they wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to appreciate it as a whole because of uh, it's based upon so many other Final Fantasies. Take this. You're asking me what Final Fantasy I'd recommend if you've never played one before? And Final Fantasy in general is not long compared to some really hardcore games out there like uh, Trails in the Sky or Yes series is decently long or Wizardry or Ultima. Or any game, any game that's a first-person shooter dungeon crawler, the dungeon crawl. Well, not for the first-person view. Those are generally pretty long too, and they're also generally difficult. Is that crazy? Qu no, not really. I don't get asked it very often, but if you're asking for my recommendation. Because you don't have to play any of the Final Fantasies in order because they're all their own thing. Four. I would play four first. Well, like that, that ought to do that it. That wasn't so bad. And if you like that, then, you know, just keep in mind that the original one's a little rough around the edges. Although there's the, there's different versions you can play. The Pixel Remasters is, it's, you know, if you can get your hands on the, well, you know, if you've never played a Final Fantasy game, I would say get the Pixel Remaster because they do it. They do them justice. I'm not gonna get them because I've played Final Fantasy, all the Final Fantasies, so many darn times. I'm just like, I don't need to get it again. But if you've never played it, then I would definitely uh. Hello. This particular Final Fantasy combines Pokemon capturing and you're in a world, you're basically, you're these two people who got stranded in this different world, kind of like in Nardia, and all the characters are from all different kinds of Final Fantasy games. And they blend, like, we've ran to, uh, a couple characters from 7, one from 8, a couple from 6, some from 10, so it's kind of like that, so I would not play, I me mean, watch, definitely, if you like, I mean, Hey, I don't mind that, but just be be forlorn. Like, oh wait, who's this character? Oh, this character is from Final Fantasy X. Like, we just ran into Titus not that long ago. Not to schedule a time to play or lose interest. Yeah, I mean, four. I recommend four. It's not a tough game overall. It has a really good story, and it's just it's not too tough. It's a good forty hours or less kind of RPG. Four personally for me is my favorite. I love four, so if it's like four and six, basically, they're my favorite Final Fantasy. It's just, 
it's an overall balanced game. It's got a great story. Uh, you'll get connected to the characters real quick. It's got some of that classic Final Fantasy music here and there, and it's uh, overall not a very. It's not a difficult. There's some difficult moments, but and, and a couple ass of dungeons. But it's not a. It's not a brutally hard game. That depends on what version you get. I think the Pixel Remaster makes it a little bit tougher from what I've seen. Uh, they, I think they made the final boss a little more challenging, but just some grinding will fix that problem out. But if you had to, if I had to recommend one of all the versions, probably the Game Boy Advance one. Tama, stand by for Warp 10. Roger the Wilco, standing by. Warp! <laughs> oh, good old warp drive. But let's be realistic. Everyone knows warp 10 is the limit, and we're clearly not moving at infinite speed. Dude. Uh, does she know we were the kidding? No. <sighs> You're impossible, girl. Remedy Plus. Interesting. That's a... The heck does a Remedy Plus do? Remedy already de de kills all status effects. What does a Remedy Plus do? Oh, okay. It's just it removes everything. That's weird. Well, this one only removes poisons, blindness, oblivion, sleep, and confusion, huh? I just make... Okay, whatever. I don't know the differences between the two. <coughs> I know in the GBA version, they had bonus dungeons for you to go tackle on. And at a certain part of the story, you can swap out the, the your characters for uh, the characters you had in the past. And some of those characters are exceedingly broken. But if you were to just do a uh, traditional story, then I would probably do the PS1 version and just enjoy the characters as is. Here we go! Yeah, we... Or you could just go old school and just do the Super Nintendo version. That version works just as well. Oh, that, that one's called Final Fantasy II. Okay. Or if you have a 3D, uh, is it a DS or a 3DS? They also remastered Final Fantasy IV. And that's also, it's a little more challenging and tougher. But it's a, it, you can't go wrong with any of them. So I would either say the PS1, the Super Nintendo, or the Super Nintendo one version. The uh, Pixel Remaster I know has a uh, map you can look at. Whereas the original one does not, but the dungeons aren't that bad, and they're not—it's not hard to get lost in the game. Why is the naming so confusing? What do you mean by the naming? Uh oh, knife. I mean, why is it called Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo and not Final Fantasy IV? Knife isn't deadly, but it does hurt. Well, the reason why is when Final Fantasy 1 was released in the States, they weren't sure how good a success it was going to be, and so that's why it's called Final Fantasy. That was their last game before Square Soft or before you know, Square was going to go out of business. 
was a huge success. When Final Fantasy 2 and 3 came out, they were Japanese-only releases. So when Final Fantasy 4 was made, it also got made in the United States, but they called it Final Fantasy 2. The same thing, and then 5 was skipped as, as same reasoning. 5 was only in Japan. And then when 6 came out, 6 was both here, uh, both there in Japan and in the States, and in the States it was called Final Fantasy 6. And then beyond that, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all that, it, they stayed even with it. So that's why the, the numbering is confusing, because it's like basically 2 and 4 are the same thing, and 3 and 6 are the same thing uh, for the United States version. <coughs> Unless you get the Nintendo one, which is Final Fantasy 2 and 3, then that's a little different. So when I saw Final Fantasy V first time and I played it on, I played, I had to play it on emulator because I didn't even know. I'm like, wait a minute, there's a Final Fantasy V? Holy shit. Oh, what happened to, what happened to two and three and that's. If you watch the Angry Video Game Nerd on his channel, he actually breaks it down a, a bit more detailed explanation why the Final Fantasies are they're chronologically weird. I don't know why 2 and 3 never came out in the States originally. Maybe because they were too difficult? They are challenging games. 2 and 3 are, are challenging games in the NES version. I won't hold back. Right, let's do this. Should have been difficult, yeah. I guess, I guess they thought it would confuse us. If, oh, look, Final Fantasy IV, but what happened to two and three? You're not wrong, uh, Richard. You're not wrong at all. <laughs> so, like I said, when Final Fantasy V first came out, I was like, wait. That's when I looked into it. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. But after, at, when they made Final Fantasy VII, the confusion went away. So, anything after seven or games like this or side games like. Final Fantasy Tactics and all that. They're their own thing and no confusing and numbering system. Ah, oh, I missed. I'll be right back. I'm going to refill my drink because it's getting low and I'm, I'm trying to keep myself hydrated because I'm still a little sick.
Ugh, sorry. Alright, I'll be right back.
Although, Rich Entertainment, I do have another Final Fantasy game I could recommend you if you're worried about length. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hip dragster, why? Why would you do this? I'll just say Furnum Tusk told you I was streaming, so we'll go with that. He got it the raid. Thanks, Furnum. Appreciate it. I have no idea what the fuck how to even pronounce Surgical that one char of our origin. Letting me. It's stationary. See? Like I, mean, I get on the thing and then... <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you sound like you're about to take a shit. What the hell is that game? Well, I know that one. I saw that one play. One Shanabara origin. What the fuck is that? Go in your bed. Go to sleep. Anime boobs and zombies. Okay, that would make more sense because the fancy title of the game. <laughs> what a name for a game. Well, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, I suppose, I guess. I'm trying to keep my voice at a minimum because my throat is still killing me. My friend Big Dusty texted me this morning and said, You said you were sick, didn't you? I was like, Yeah, I caught the fever at around Tuesday. And he's like, Yeah, well, I feel like shit now. I'm like, Well, one of us had it and one of us gave it. So it was dormant on me on Monday because I was perfectly fine. We were playing uh, Scott Pilgrim. And then I got sick Tuesday morning and I slept all fucking day, like 15 hours sleeping. Yeah, some of his drugs are still on the ground. I haven't, but I did buy new drugs. There you go. Uh, I haven't had a chance to vacuum the house because I've been sick. So I'll just probably just hold off all my chores until next week since I have to work tonight. But you did raid me, so what would you like? Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, would you like book number one of Totally Awesome Books of Use Information? Book number two? Or would you like something from the pun book? Yeah, he knows what it is. No, I caught a flu, is what I caught. I don't think it's the Rona. I mean, I didn't get tested for it, but my sense of taste is still there, and I only had a hundred fever for about a couple of days. So, so what would you like, hip dragster? Book number one. Book number two, or would you want something from the pun book? Since you did raid me, you could have raided anyone, you raided me, and I appreciate that. Or would you like me to just, uh, surprise someone with a weird, a random fact? Hi, kitty. No, you're not, you're not getting the bag. You're not getting the bag. You know what it is, yeah. No. You got drugs down there. Uh oh, did we lose hip? Oh no, did we lose you? And he was getting his food. Alright, well we'll hold off until he comes on back. But thank you again for the uh Thank you again for the uh raid. And when you get back we'll uh decide what you want me to read off of. I I assume on his stream he said he was getting food.
Weird, I didn't know he was streaming. I didn't even see it go off. I always thought that Hip was a fucking weeb. Get on, ladies! Activates that, huh? Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Not other than an encounter? I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it! Oh, it's a pony! I want it. It's a unicorn. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, well, not if it's weak against. Darn it. I know Dark does a status effect. I figured. Alright, well, we'll do that again. First time running into a unicorn. So yeah, Fernum got bad news to share. Lightning Edge and uh, Surreal Clay decided to redeem Mega Man Zero One and Two, back to back. We'll wait till Hip gets back and we'll ask him the question again. Manic, man, nice. Let's make this good. Dude, it's on.
There we go. We got a unicorn. Most legendary beast in a single corner horn adorning its head forehead. Known as the spear horse. Insane, but if you can get close enough, the horn doubles as a coat rack in an emergency. <laughs> Name it Mr. Hands. You know what? You rated me. I'll do that. I'll give you a complimentary redemption. Speaking of, since you're back, I heard you were making food. What would you like? Book number one? Book number two? Or do you want something from the pun book? That's the spirit. Ha ha! Oh man, you want people to suffer? Okay. <coughs> well, at least no one redeems it off the channel itself because they could do that as well. You can get a double bat tobacco if you want to. And now I've given you ideas. Oh no. Alright, what would you like? I got pages one through 143. What would you like? 22 <sighs> That's so fucking dumb. All right. My girlfriend broke up with me when she found that I only have nine toes. She's lactose intolerant. <laughs> you knew I was going to do that. Yeah. That comes with the redemption. That's just terrible. Lactose, T O E Z E S, whatever. Lactose intolerant. Thank you for that. Appreciate the cringe. What'd you make for dinner? What'd you brought? What'd you bring me? Juan, are we there the yet? Cause I think my legs are about to fall off. I hear you. I'm about ready to. Hey, wait, you're not even walking. <sighs> Sis? Huh? Rain? Is something the wrong? No trivia, so I guess that means she isn't upset at me. Hello? Rain? Uh, what's up? Uh, that's what I want to know. What's the deal? Uh, it's hard to explain. I guess I sort of get the feeling I've been here before. Well... Hold that thought.
gotta do it. Victory! Pasta and meatballs? That's what I had earlier. What kind of meatballs? That's why I'll be taking the work with me later on. What kind of meatballs? It might be deja vu. The day of Chapu? Is that like doomsday? Bow before the mighty Chapu, humans. We'll just pretend he's not the here. Rain, do you the want to take a break? I don't the mind. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Thanks, Tama. Let's keep moving. Roger the Dodger! Roger the Dodger! What about the mighty Jabu? Oh, why is he such a douchebag? figure out how to make Sif into a bigger thing. I'll look that up tomorrow. Let's see about Jafar here real quick. What do we do here? Let's see. We're going to give her a Cura. Target brand they have. I normally get grass fed cow beef, but they were out. Ah. So Target's got their own. You get Target brand meatball. You don't get armor or those other name brands. Plastic cow beef feed plastic? I didn't know cows ate plastic fed. fed. You mean. Huh? When is that the thing? Kiraga. Okay. No trouble at all. Although I, I don't blame you, I do prefer a specific type of beef, like Angus beef and, you know, the natural stuff. What's wrong with that? Plastic? Well, I don't think that'd be plastic in your food. They wouldn't, you wouldn't just plastic, because your body can't indigest plastic. Babies being born plastic? I never heard of that before. So that's just your bot. So that's that's just normal then. You're what you're saying. Yeah, never knew that. I learned something new. So we have salty plastic in our dude. It's all. Uh, Let's make this good. Prostates. That's it. I had to think about it for a second. Ooh, tickle, 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 tickle. This is it. 
I didn't do shit for damage. Oh, we know Mr. Hands is weak to dark magic. There you go. That's what Hip named him, so I said, why not? He raided me, yeah, why not? That's a I mean there's a redeem on the channel to name the next uh, Mirage that I capture. Something unique happened on the channel earlier. Turkey, Turkey with toes, I think. Redeemed wants me to play more of Tales of Eternia. So, we'll play that for another two more hours next time. Or I might start over and check out Tales of Des Tales of Destiny 2 because it's basically the same thing. That's the only reason why I picked Tales of Eternia because I didn't know. I didn't never played the first Tales game, so. It's a cute name, because it has hooves, you know? I'm well, amazed you didn't name it Mr. Ed. Never heard of that. That doesn't sound familiar. Avalon Code. What's it about? I don't think I've heard it before. Go up the stairs. Okay, yes, I've heard I've I heard a Yandere back. simulator. I can't stream that. That's actually one of the banned games on Steam on on Twitch. DSRPG. Okay. I know DS has got some uh, decent library of RPGs, but that one I did not have a hero. And I've played my handful of RPGs, but not that one. I Bye, Mr. Hands. That's a, that's a fake Mr. Hands. We got we got already captured Mr. Hands. We're good. Look, I can't help if they're gonna give me the monster to kill for experience points. I mean, I can't help that. I'm sorry. I feel as torn as you, cause I like unicorns. Unicorns and Pegasus are adorable creatures. This is it. Although I wish we got a couple more small characters I could use them as for the, for the stack setup. It's making it harder to use Chaz and uh, Jafart as the setup. No trouble at all. All right. No 
as soon as I get to a save point to access the... I just came from here, right? Oh, that's right, over this way. I'm horrible? Yeah, I am, you're right. Can't be helped. Check out this cool Malbro I'm writing. This is Lamak, by the way. Look who's here! We've got the advantage. Oh, another Mr. Hands. Bye, Mr. Hands. Stop trying to get me to laugh. My throat's killing me still. Okay. All right. I don't know about the internet. That's a, that's stretching it right there. I ain't that popular yet. Come back to me when the viewer count hits at 20 or 30 people that see that me murder Mr. Hands. Then that'd be a whole. Then we could talk. But yes, I'm I'm a terrible person. You're right. I'm awful. I'm sick and tired of this place. You're not allowed to be sick and tired. Okay, then I'm just tired. You're gonna have to stick it out, Lon. Okay, then I'm just sticky. If you're sticky, then would you glue your mouth shut permanently? Uh, could you not be a bitch? I enjoy this game, but I do not enjoy the main characters in this game. Not one bit. Which sucks, because this is a fun game. Whoa, that's something different. Mind Flare. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, reflect magic back. Y'all yeah, made you didn't want to name it Mr. Waffles. That look, Mr. Hand's death, okay. I don't have anything, that, I don't think I have a reflectability. Not yet, unless. Okay, that'll work. or not I don't know we'll try though I've got this All right. 
cast a spell on us. Do you like it when he says, listen, fat? No, oh, jeez. I don't watch politics that much. Baby, some mind flare. A wizard with a squid head. No way, is it a squid with a wizard's body? Anyways, a consummate the connoisseur, the mind flare only pairs the finest beverage with brains it devours. Oh, I see, that's a pretty terrifying image. Yeah, there is. Let's me sip this wine while I eat these brains. So we got ourselves a Cthulhu. We gotta think of who we're gonna name this one. Did we put on Eric in our game yet? Oh, I can't remember. I think we did. <coughs> trying to think of a name here. Well, you know what? Uh... Actually, hold on. There you go. V. There you go, Veronica Rose. You're in the game now. As a manipulative mind flayer. I'm sorry you're watching the news there over there, Fernum. Really, two steps? I didn't even go face the damn thing. Alright, whatever. Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. What um Jenga back up. Oh, I'm 
sorry you're watching the news today, Fernan. I guess what Biden has some kind of weird announcement today to talk about. Oh boy. That's just weird. Not do as much damage as I hoped it would. You just stopped to see him. Did he say hello? Did he say hi back? You go, what's up, Fernum? Tell me what I can do for you. been up this way so let's go back I know a few of friends are addicted to that game. Pretty a linear dungeon. It does remind me of Final Fantasy 3 in some ways. Okay, this has got to be our goal. We should be almost there. Oh, resist 
darkness. Nice. This is it. Hopefully by tomorrow my sore throat will be gone. Still hurts to swallow. Not a fun feeling. Just how far the twin adventurers had come. Who, indeed? Why are you talking in the third the person? Why not? I've done that before. CJ would like to stop, like to like get to a save point so he can end the stream. Because he has the work to do. And he has to fix the mistakes a certain employee did because he listened to a fucking scammer. And now I have to go fix all the viruses and shit on it when I get it to work. We must be getting near the top. This place feels less the welcoming the further we climb. Mm. <laughs> yeah, stay on your toes. Use a teleport stone if you need to turn the back. And you can access the prism case via the seraphone. We gotta be getting near the top. So what kind of pasta did you make with your meatballs? Shells, just the regular noodles, fettuccine. Sure, you yeah. haven't seen Mr. Hands in a while. Sega finally comes back and says something in the channel. How long has this been since you said something here? Like two, three months? Long time no see. Like holy shit. 
Walty boy says something in my channel. I'm shocked. I figure you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna lurk and do nothing else. Boom, dude. But Doom should go ahead, man. I do look at the beginning of my channel, at the end of my channel, and I'm like, I don't mind you lurking, but I was just like, man, he just. I know he's racking up points dude, for something. I just don't know what. Did anybody see that? I, legit just felt I miss you, man. God damn it. What a piece of shit. This is a game that you played already? Go. I have never fucking heard of that game. Go. Uh, go. Goblinous? I've never even fucking heard of that game. Really on Twitch? Yeah, but you obviously could spend the two seconds to make sure you get that streak in. Shit, I see you talking about everyone else's channels constantly, so I'm like, oh, he doesn't like me anymore. And now I'm whining like Dojimbo. Figured you were saving up points for a main game redeem. I, mean, I appreciate the lurk, I just figured you just like, didn't want to talk to me anymore. We did it! That wasn't so bad. Lucky to have 10 minutes on Twitch. So what do you stream for three hours and just busy all day with 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 mail all day afterwards? Is that how it is? Well you didn't stream today, so I assume some shit went down. Other than my sore throat and me recovering from this flu, I'm doing alright. Well, I guess I'll give you VIP status again, because I haven't seen you fucking forever. I noticed you've been lurking a lot. I just figured out you were going to be one of those folks. Oh, I'll just lurk and that's it. I've had people do that. They're like, they'll just lurk. They'll cash in and redeem. And just they'll, then I never fucking see them again. But I've seen people do that on other channels too. So, which sucks. We need some with Earth. Well, isn't Furnum Earth-based? Seventy-five. Cool. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I guess you can't watch a movie and talk on Twitch at the same time, right? Send time helping you? Uh, it benefits to a certain degree, but Twitch says otherwise. Where the hell does this take me to? What was the point of this? I gotta get to a save point. Okay, what the fuck? I guess we have to go that way. Alright. Well, shit. Viewer count means... No, not when you lurk, it doesn't... The viewer count doesn't go up at all. Overall, people who have visited, that goes up, but it doesn't count towards an average viewership. Okay, here we go. Trust me, I know, because sometimes it's been you've been the only one in chat... And that sits an infamous number of one. I'm not kidding. Until Fernum comes in here and sexually harasses me. Well, at that point, I would think that would like, oh shit, he's being sexually harassed. Another time. Yeah, I don't want to fight this stuff. I want to get to the save point because I gotta wrap this up. I have like two, uh, yeah, I don't have any of that. <laughs> so if you, yeah, I totally understand if you're gonna lurk. I have nothing against lurkers, but once in a while, say hi, you know? It's been literally two months since you've actually said something in the chat. Literally, I figured, I guess I pissed him off or I did something. And he's just racking up points to torture the fuck out of me. 
Which is, you know, that's what redeems are for, right? Well, most of the time. That depends on the game being redeemed, right? Glad to lurk, and I thought it was three. After three, you don't get channel points. At least I'm not playing a Mega Man game. I'm just too busy for my own good, dude. Well, uh, that's okay. You have no Jimbo and Elagos to help you out with that. Cable modem down and not working? Shit, here's 30 subs. Go buy yourself a new modem. <laughs> Those Jimbo and Elagos are good people. They so I've seen them support a lot of people. Speaking of, I haven't seen Jafart in almost a month. I hope she's doing okay. She's my biggest supporter. Hope she's doing all right. Well, that ought to do it. Victory! Lurkers help to an extent, but if you're like doing like eight or nine channels, it, yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it count. It, I don't think it counts too much towards it. Twitch doesn't smile on lurkers. I don't mind a lurker, one bit. But I do have. I mean, I do have like one little special rule to my main game redeem. If you're gonna cash in that many points, you gotta participate in this stream to somewhat, some to somewhat degree. I mean, it is your redeem. Especially if I'm like, fuck, where do I fucking go? And you're not there. I'm like, well, damn it, I need help. Yeah, if you pick like some fit. Where are we now? Oh boy. Wherever it is, it's the crawling with powerful mirages. I can feel it too. Let's be careful. We'll do this tomorrow. This will be a good cock tease for tomorrow. By the way, we got ourselves a unicorn and hip raided me earlier and we gave it a wonderful name. So I'll show you guys it real quick before we uh, call it. Uh, where you at? You got a Cthulhu like critter. I think I have you in this game too, Sega fan. Where's that? Uh... I know, and there's Master Max, there's Richard Perspective, there's Cube Dude, Proto Shield. Yeah, you're a, a, a fish looking creature. But we have a unicorn. There he is. Mr. Hands. What kind of stuff does this guy have, anyways? I'm thinking Mr. Hands is a healer. Definitely white magic. Yep, regen. Ooh, we might want to get that too. Shit. Healing horn. Yep. It's mostly a healer with white magic. Okay. Cool beans. And that rolls why I didn't pick it. It's like, yeah. I mean, if you can't make it once in a while or every couple of streams I totally get that but if you're going to cash in something that huge and not be there at all I mean that's just I get real life gets in the way and all that I mean that's one reason why I never really got to play Golden Axe Warrior all the way through for two reasons one you never showed up and I understand that and then two the chat was dead half the time so I was asking for help and I was like Pfft. I had like one or two. I know it was Chaz. She was the only one who kept me company that day. She says, well, why don't you play something else? You clearly are frustrated. You don't know where you're going. Like, exactly. I mean, stuff was killing me in two hits. So I was just like, I guess I spent the two hours and some change. And I'm just like, fuck. I don't know where to go. I cleared two dungeons. And did a lot of exploration. But I was really, really lost. Let me save one more time. Well, uh, before you go, what is this? Today I had to go on a long ass trip for mails. Oh, uh, how is her eyes doing? 
three hours cooking. Wow, you must have made a big fucking meal. Jesus, that's a lot to cook. There you go. You got your VIP back. Go to this. this is pretty much a Zelda. Was, something, was this something you just played recently? Was it something that... Was it that one game you were just... Yeah, okay. I know what game you're talking about. The auto-scrolling. That does look like an interesting game. Hopefully it's better than... It didn't look like a frustrating game. You look like you got pissed a couple times. It doesn't look like it's a hard game. How long did it take you to beat it? According to this, it's only three hours long. Really? That's short? How long to beat.com? How long to beat? I had someone re redeem, re redeem uh, Tales of Eternity to play it some more. I'm like, you sure you want me to spend your points? And they didn't say anything, so I guess we'll play more Tales of Eternity down the road. Five and a half hours. Well, that's pretty short. I probably could beat that in one sitting then. Assuming it's not. Ah, yes! So it's according to howtobeater.com. How long to take to beater.com? I, I use it as a rough gauge. And add maybe two or three hours to it. So, elemental gimmick gear. I, I know you were too busy to show up for that one. I mean, that I got stuck at certain points. I almost couldn't even finish it because the. Uh, I think Fernum was there for that. There's a puzzle in there that requires you to be pixel perfect, and because there's a slight delay in the emulation, it's hard to get past the puzzle. It's one of those puzzles where you have to hit a switch and make it to the other end before the timer expires. And you gotta follow a specific path, and the timing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the timing of it is so freaking precise. It's not even funny. I was like, "Fuck!" I know I'm near the end of this game. I don't want to give this up because of an emulation glitch. But we got past it. That took a good 40 minutes to get past, but got past it. Thank God. I was scared I wasn't gonna be able to finish that game. Oh, not that puzzle. Just in general. Just, like, talking to me in general about the game. I just like when people redeem a game. Just, like, they talk about their experiences with it and stuff like that. I mean, Surreal redeemed uh, Cupid Cubicle a long time ago. And that was a childhood favorite of hers. And so we just talked about, you know, that kind of stuff. So, like, I always get curious. That's why I had the redeems on it. That's not the focus of this channel. But anytime someone adds the redeems, like, hey, why'd you add this? It's a great fucking game. This is, like, Pop Full Mail. Why'd you add it? It's a fucking great game. And it was. Had its quirks here and there, but I absolutely loved to pop full nail from start to finish. Final boss was a bitch, but other than that, it was a great game. I liked it. Well, I'm going to go ahead since we never get to... Oh, yeah. There you go. We'll go ahead and raid Proto Shield because I don't ever get to hear, you know... He's doing a 12-hour scene. Now, here you go, Sega fan. Here's something that he's doing so you could try always to me and you could make a community channel. Yeah, I'm just finishing off. So, like, you you catching that redeem pretty quickly. But, uh, Hip, thanks for the raid. And uh, who else? What else does it? Uh, Turkey Toes, also Onion. What a name. Turkey, if you want me to refund you on points on that before I play more Tales of Eternia or Tales of Tales of Destiny 2, let me know because that's a unique way that you want me to basically continue playing it. It's an RPG, so it's a higher cash redeem. So if you want to be refunded on that and just pick something on the wheel or rack it up all the way to <coughs> make it a guarantee, just let me know before I start so I can refund you. Stick around for your raid, though. Okay. Protoshield is playing C. He's Protoshield does some really insane shit. He does, uh, he, right now, this guy right here, he's beaten Ninja Gaiden 1 through 3, consecutive deathless. So if he died on Ninja Gaiden 2, he has to start over, over Ninja Gaiden 1. He's done Super Castlevania 4, uh, 
leather whip only. And if he upgrades the lit whip, he, he's game over for him, and he has to start all over because he also did Deathless Run on that. And now he's doing a 1cc of Super Mario Brothers 0001 challenge. Basically, he can't kill any enemies except for one that has specifically requires you to kill to make this jump. He cannot touch any coins. He cannot touch any power-ups. That includes one-ups. He does that. It's immediate death. And he's gotten to stage 8-1 as a personal best. And I'm like, that's insane. I mean, talk about putting Mario Brothers into a whole new perspective. But we'll go ahead and give him a raise, since I never get to rate him very often. He's doing a special 12-hour stream, so let's go and throw him some support. And I'll be back here tomorrow night with more World of Final Fantasy. Hopefully my throat will feel a lot better. Hip, thanks for the raid. Sega, thanks for the redeem. I will get to that. Damn, I just got caught up with all my retro redeems. And then yesterday, two people redeemed Mega Man 0, 1, and 0, 2. And then Tales of Eternity got an extension. And then this. Like, Jesus. Yeah, I hope I feel better, too. I got to deal with the bullshit at work now and fix the, p the guy who was an idiot who let the scammer. W hey, man, we need to access your computer. I'm like, that's... Dumbass. You don't see. Yeah, I can't. Mega Man Zero, so it's something different. Lightning Edge redeemed the first one, and Surreal Clay came out, came back as soon as the cooldown went down off and said, hey, Ledge uh, Zero Two. So I'm like, yeah. I'm probably going to save state the crap out of those so I can just get through them because I'm still on a break from Mega Man games. Honestly, I'll probably, I'll probably do your redeem before I do theirs. Normally I go in order, but I've done so much Mega Man. You're not wrong. I've done so much Mega Man. Um, and this is supposed to be one of the harder ones, too. So, I, I, I mean, no offense. I mean, I love Mega Man. Don't get me wrong. But, oh, so much of them. All right, I'll catch you guys later. We're about to raid out. I'll see you soon. Great saying that. <laughs> the plan is to do this. Are you kidding?